Hello everyone and welcome to A Slice of My Life. This is going to be kind of like a hybrid review time as well as a first impressions video of the Rondell Spinner. And finally, it is here. I know uh, this seems a little bit abrupt to you guys, but if you are wondering, I received the Rondell as well as the Chaton Spinner from Conceptual Designs and I actually filmed an unboxing and first impressions video of the Chaton that should be going up sometime in the future because this will probably be up first since I have spoken about the Rondell Spinner before. This is the retail version of the Rondell Spinner. This one is slightly different from what was uh, initially meant to be and the reason why is because it's been nine months guys since maybe even 10 months since I actually purchased or made my purchase of the Rondell Spinner and I'm gonna bring this back into frame because this is the original prototype that was sent to me by Ansa and the agreement basically was for me to hold on to this until this arrived so that I could give you guys a comparison but there's something that I want you guys to know the machinist for this is different from the machinist of this so it's been a long time coming and this is not the first run that I was hoping to get because I initially paid for the first run. Well, to cut a long story short, a lot of things happen, yada yada yada, blah blah blah, we are at where we are today, finally. So, Rondell Spinner, retail version, current retail version I should say, versus the prototype. The main difference is the buttons right there. The Gen 1 buttons I've already shared with you guys isn't that comfortable. This one over here is a improved button. It is not a deep dish button, but it does have this inward dip, inward dishing, and it has a little lip on the inside, which definitely provides a little bit more grip as compared to this. So let's pop the buttons off and let's check out what's under the hood. And it looks to be almost the same as the prototype version. But the prototype one actually has way wider window slots versus the retail version. And I think that this actually looks a bit cooler than this, you know, and this does help to throw more weight outwards compared to this version. And the machine finish, well, it looks good. You guys know that I actually do enjoy machine finishes a lot. And I'm trying to look at all the different nuances here, all the different angles and edges. And just by looking at it, visually like that it looks almost exactly the same and it does seem that this cut here is slightly different it looks like as if the retail one is very very slightly wider very slightly and a little bit more shallow i suppose apart from that it looks very much identical even the angles of the triangles itself the beveled edge and then the outward curve here as well the sides are almost exactly the same so more or less, I would say more or less, the main difference would be inside here. So I don't know, in terms of precision, maybe this would be better, you know, in my opinion. But it is what it is. And uh, yeah, you guys remember that on the flip side of the prototype, there is this very ugly, in my opinion, circle design. Don't know why the machinists did that, but the machinists did that anyway. Gonna pop the buttons back on and then give this a first spin. Oh, seems to have the same issue with the buttons as with the chaton when that video is out and you guys see it you'll know what i'm talking about but yeah the buttons do seem a little bit gritty hmm i guess tolerances for the buttons aren't that good look it's screwed almost all the way in but yet it wobbles quite a lot so only when it's fully tightened then yeah no wobble but just even slightly just a bit causes a lot of wobble so that's a little bit obnoxious. But yeah, it's a little bit gritty. Strange, strange. It is public information that this is now machined by Kepler. And as of late, Kepler, well, let's just talk about that in a short while. Let me put these buttons back on and then give that a first spin. So time for the first spin, here we go. Nice whirring sound. I always am a fan of that sound. And this feels really smooth. It's so smooth that I don't even realize it's spinning in my hand. That's how smooth it is. Like, hmm. There's no judder. Ah, when I hold it vertically, yes, I can feel the feedback from the bearing. But when it's horizontal like that, almost no feedback. It's so smooth. I bet this is gonna get long spin times. Oh wow, did you guys see my skin flying off? Damn. Oh my goodness. 
Look, it scratched my fingernail. What the hell? What? That's how sharp. That's the thing about Kepler nowadays. Kepler's machine finish always has this issue where everything is just overly sharp. Okay, well, push forwards with my middle finger. It's not bad. Pull backs. Not bad. Feels almost exactly the same as when I'm fidgeting with the prototype, just that the buttons are different. Hmm. Mm, that's not bad as well. Even more skin flying off. No, it's not skin. It's scraping my fourth... Look at that. It's scraping my fingernail. Damn. Oh, wow. Look at all that. That's bits of my fingernail right there. What the hell? That's how sharp it is, guys. Like, I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding when I say that Kepler's machining, especially for machine finish, is really, really sharp. I believe it's a tooling that causes all this burrs and everything. That is, you know, like not, not detectable to the naked eye, but definitely you could feel it. When you run your finger across it, you could clearly feel that sharp burr on every single edge. Check this out, guys. Look at that. That's, that's no joke. <laughs> that's, that's no joke, guys. Okay, I'll use my middle finger because you guys can see there's nothing there. See, no issues there. But this. Wow, immediate. No joke. That's how sharp it is. My goodness, uh, it's gonna be a really uncomfortable experience fidgeting with it with my fourth finger then. And not so bad when it is a index finger and thumb grip, but pretty bad when just, yeah, with my middle finger and thumb grip, this is pretty bad. Oh no, I'm losing bits of my fingernail here. First impressions on the machine finish from the Kepler version, basically the current retail version, is not good. I like the way it looks. I think it looks absolutely awesome. I love all these lines here and I love all these these machining marks here on the sides and on the bevels and on the edges and everything. I love the way it looks, but I hate the way it feels. You know what I mean? Like, damn it, man. Like, I don't like bead blasted finishes. And at that point of time, there was only either machine finish or bead blasted finish. There was also a mirror polish finish. So mirror polish would be a fingerprint magnet. Bead blaster finishes would be very susceptible to rust and corrosion. And then now with the machine finish, I was like, damn, this is just so sharp. I'm gonna have to either buff it out with a fingernail buffer or give it a light quick stone wash just to remove all these burrs, you know? And I think I will go the stone wash route because of the dot to Spinner by Premium Spinners. I'm quite a fan of a light stone wash with machine finish. So I might try that out here just to soften the edges. I wish that these edges were softened out. Like, man. And I'm really just blaming Kepler here. I, I, I don't mean to rant, guys. I'm sorry that I'm ranting right now, but this is a little bit disappointing. After waiting for so long, for like nine months to 10 months to get this, this is a little bit disappointing. It's pretty lackluster in my opinion. But just comparing Rondell to Rondell, the machine finish Aside, this is, I would say, a very much uh, a rondel. There's virtually no difference between this and the prototype. So that is a good thing, just that the buttons, I would say that the buttons definitely are an improvement for what they were originally here on the prototype version. This feels like as if I have no grip, you know, it feels like it's so slippery and so rounded all the time. But this one definitely brings your fingers a little bit closer to the spinner frame and it does provide a lot more grip because it definitely feels like there's a lot more surface area for you to hold on versus this when it's, you know, an upward and then downward in like that that upward kind of feeling. I guess you could say the word is counterintuitive. This is kind of counterintuitive because we all want better grip with buttons. Visually wise, this looks a little bit better versus this. So, you know, I'm gonna have to change our buttons if I want a different experience altogether. I'm not the first to receive this retail version. 
a lot of other people received theirs before me and especially Meads. Meads has been putting on crazy button combinations and making his rondel look absolutely beautiful and I think I'm gonna try that as well. But I really do want to stonewash this thing, you know. But basically that's it guys. That's the point of this video. I want to give you guys my impressions of it and this is my impressions. I'm kind of disappointed. I have to be honest, I'm kind of disappointed because of the sharpness and uh, you know, I'm gonna have to find a way to kind of rectify the situation. But that is it for this video everyone. I've waited such a long time for this. I won't even talk about pricing or weight or anything. If you guys are interested, go check out my old video. That's it, guys. Rondell Spinner from Conceptual Designs. I think it looks good. I just need to find a way to kind of soften everything up. And thanks for sharing in this size of my life, everyone. That's basically it for this particular video. It's been biting at my fingernails, so that really is how I feel right now. This is my impressions on it. If I feel good about it in the future, I might make a follow-up video, but that's all you're gonna get for this particular video and this particular size of my life. Thank you for sharing it with me. I will put links in the description box down below in case you guys are interested and I hope that I provided enough information about the new, or I would say the actual Rondell right now. Yeah, technically it is still the new Rondell. But until the next video, everyone, Gaga, boost.